Hey guys, what's up? Welcome again to another video. I'm with Joseph. Say hey. hi, bro. He is the content creator of Sneaker Planet PH. Go follow him on Instagram. And today we're gonna compare the Yeezy Quantum Barium colorway. So this is my barium size eight and a half. Now this is his Quantum. Shout out to him. He got this from StockX. So there you go, guys. This is size 10 size 10 size eight and a half wow look how good is the barium oh no no the quantum when you compare it to the barium this is translucent as you can see it's not transparent it's translucent so this is reflective there you go this is knit look at that material so this is knit with the glue like material I call it glue stick material over here it's knit it's all knit so this wave quantum pattern is all knit look at that with the translucent material so there you go look at the stitching looks nice guys it looks nice much better than the barium but if you want something darker go with the barium if you want something that is alive look at that guys this is the quantum colorway and we're gonna compare it on feet so speaking of sizing this is a size 10 and a size eight and a half so my suggestion is to go through the size so this is my first DC that is through the size normally I go half size up when it comes to 350, 380, 700 V3. So this is a size eight and a half, and it fits good, guys. It's not too big, and it, because it is wide. So that is just my suggestion. But technically, you can also go half size up if you want more space, uh, small wiggle room. So going half size up is not bad at all but my suggestion you can go through the size guys so this is size 10 i'm just gonna do an on heat to compare the volume and the quantum colorway Yes, I want to give a shout out to Joseph of Sneaker Planet PH for allowing me to review his pair. He got it from StockX and there was no half sizes because that was the first drop that happened during the All-Star Weekend last February. Now speaking of sizing, that is a size 10 and this is a size 8.5, my barium. It fits good. It fits just right for me. Now you can go half size up you can go half size up for additional room i would say in my case this is my first true to size normally when it comes to yeezy i go half size up my 350 is half size up my 380 is half size up my Yeezy 700 V3 is half size up. So this is my first Yeezy 
that I went through to size and it just fits good. No additional space or room. It just fits well and it is wide. It is wide guys. That's why I think going through to size is just right. But if you cannot get your true to size, go half size up. Don't go full size up because it will look big. Actually wearing this really looks big but going through to size is just good enough. So there you go guys. Now speaking of pricing, truth $250, $250. I think that is worth it for the price considering, considering the overall qualities there, the boost is so comfy even though this is heavy because this part this heel area the support is there it gives you a balance and the overall lockdown is really good guys so technically you can use this for basketball i made a review using it playing it okay i'm i played uh, basketball during a rainy day so go check out my review about about it and the traction is good overall I love the Yeezy quantum model it's different than wearing the 380 the 380 for me the 380 has has the same boost it says boost here and it has this boost also this is not the old boost uh, midsole that they are using in the 350 so overall 250 is great guys for the price here in the philippines it's 300 dollars 15,000 pesos and that is pricey i would say that is pricey but i love the comfort i like the style and overall it may not be as comfy like wearing 380 and 350 for long use because it is heavy but still it's worth it so speaking of uh resale price currently it's around i think it's around no the yeezy barium guys it's around 270 so from 250 to 70 but the yeezy quantum i think this is around uh yeezy quantum 500 now definitely this will go down. I think the highest resale value of the Yeezy Quantum will be around 400. I think that is the highest value. Uh, the Yeezy Barium is around 258. 258 almost retail guys. So $250, 258 and then the Yeezy Quantum is 500 so there you go guys I think 400 is the best resale value of this if you're planning to flip it so there you go guys for me I like it it is a must-have in your Yeezy collection thank you for watching the video again I want to give a shout out to sneaker planet PH Joseph thank you for allowing me to review your pair and this is a back-to-back -back video with his Yeezy foam runner guys that is unexpectedly I didn't expect that it will be very comfy yes guys go check out that video link is down below see you in another video